get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day, lovelies. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, today we are doing an iconic Sultana scone. So this is one of the oldest scone recipes I own. First of all, we want to preheat our ovens at 200 degrees Celsius. We need a baking tray with some baking paper. I will write the recipe below as always. We need one egg lightly beaten. In a large bowl, we need three cups of self-raising flour sifted and half a teaspoon of salt. We need 60 grams of butter chopped, quarter of a cup of plain white sugar, one cup of sultanas, and one cup of milk. All right, once you've sifted your flour and salt, we want to add the 60 grams of chopped butter, and with our fingertips, we want to rub it all into the flour. Once we've done that, we want to add our quarter of a cup of sugar, and our one cup of sultanas, and we just mix them through. All right, once they're mixed through, whack a hole in the middle. Chuck in our one cup of milk. And our one lightly beaten egg. And mix it all through. Alright, once we've got it into one big gooey pile. Now with this one, we don't want to knead it. We're just going to add flour and we're going to just keep working it in a, like in a ball. Until we can get it into a firm ball, okay? So there's no kneading. There's just flour on the outside, so it doesn't matter how much you put on there because it's just on the outside. Just like that. All right, it's flour on the surface. All right, just move it around a bit until we can get it sort of like into a smoothish sort of ball. That makes sense. Okay, now we want to roll it out to roughly two centimeters thick. So just a little bit of flour on your pin, and away we go. Oh, I love these ones, mate. They're luscious. All right, once we've got it roughly two centimetres thick, you're supposed to use a five centimetre cutter. So I've only got four or a six and a half, so I'm going to go with the bigger one today. All right, so you're just going to have to flour around it and just start cutting them all out and banging them on our tray. All right, then we just do the same as we do every other time. Just get it all together. Without kneading, just get it into a ball again, roll it out to two centimeters and keep cutting them and just keep doing it until we've got nothing left. Oh my God, mate, these are so easy and foolproof and they're freaking insane. How simple are they? So the biggest rule is you put as much flour as you want on, just do not knead it, just keep rolling it like I did until you can get it workable, okay? We do not want to knead them because the kneading is what makes them rock hard. The non-kneading is what makes them really soft. So because I used the six and a half centimetre cutter, I made 12. So if you end up using the five centimetre cutter, you usually make about 15. So because it's a bigger cutter, it might take a few minutes longer. And when you put them on the tray, you wanna make sure they're all touching and in nice and snug. Now with a little bit of milk, you either brush them on or just rub them on with your fingertips over the tops. Now, as soon as our oven's up to temperature, bang them in there. Okay, 18 minutes later, so they took an extra three minutes in the smaller ones. Mate, it smells amazing up in here. Oh yeah, baby. Now I'm gonna sit them there to cool down for a little bit. So these scones are to be served warm or at room temperature. You can serve them with butter or jam and cream. All right, they're still hot, but we'll just rip one bad boy open just to show you. Now, as a kid, I never really liked these, but now I'm a big girl, I love them. Oh, yum. <laughs> now, I personally like to get a little bit of icing sugar into a sifter, and I love putting a little bit of icing sugar over them. You don't have to. I love them with butter or marge, that's just me. Give them a crack, lovelies. Your family's going to love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome day. 
and I'll see you soon. Toodles.